In this video I will explain some more advanced techniques for working with objects. I recommend watching part 1 and part 2 before this one. You can duplicate the selected objects by pressing Shift D. Sometimes you may want to change the class of an object after creating it. This is not exactly possible, but there is an alternative. For instance, if you created a fancy cube, but you change your mind and you wanted the cylinder instead, then you can select the cylinder class and press Shift Space. This will copy the properties from the cube to the newly created cylinder object. If you right click after creating the cylinder, it will snap to the cube's location. Note that if you do this for classes that are not very similar, things might go very wrong. You can press G twice for projective placement. This is the same mode as when you first created the object. The object follows the surface of the object that you are pointing at. You can press S twice to scale positions only. This is useful for moving objects in relation to one another. When scaling or rotating multiple objects at the same time, it is important to understand the role of the pivot mode. You can change the pivot mode here, or you can press the comma key to cycle between them. This does two things. Firstly, some of the pivot modes change which object is displayed in the properties editor. Secondly, it changes the pivot for transformations. Mean sets the pivot to the average position of the selected objects. First selected sets the pivot to the position of the first selected object. Last selected sets the pivot to the position of the last selected object. Individual origins uses a separate pivot for each object, so they do not move in relation to each other. While performing an operation, you can hold shift to make the movement smaller. As I mentioned in the first video, you can press X, Y or Z to lock the transformation to an axis. If you hold shift while pressing the axis key, the lock is inverted, so if I press shift Z, the transformation is locked to the XY plane, so it will not move along the Z axis. In addition, for objects that can be rotated, you can press the axis key twice to lock the transformation to the object's local axis. So if I press Z twice, it moves up and down in relation to itself. Also, while locked to an axis, you can type a number to transform by an absolute amount. You can also paste a number by pressing Ctrl V. The axis lock in projective placement mode is special because it rotates the object in relation to the surface you are pointing at. So if I press G twice and then set, then the local set axis of the selected object will conform to the normal of the surface I am pointing at. Pressing the axis key twice in this mode will reverse the direction of the object. Keep in mind, projective placement is a bit inaccurate, so expect some jitter. There is a grid option which you can enable here. This will snap location and scaling to increments of the indicated number. Here is a list of the keys introduced in this video. I will put it in the video description.